All the numbers show women are worse off financially than they were before the pandemic. That puts an even greater strain on families paying for child care. But help could soon be on the way. In our ongoing series, Her Recession, 4 News Now is following the devastating impacts of this pandemic on women. Eleni Dow explains how this new solution could help. Being a mother is a juggling act. Single mom Arielle Hungerford was put to the test with the pandemic. It was hard doing the homeschooling at the time I was working from home and then the online schooling and then the daycare and it was just definitely a single parents really found out how truly strong we are. It took a lot of strength to keep her two kids taken care of then herself going to work too to make sure they still have a home. While she had the stability of a job throughout the pandemic, payments for other things changed. That included child care. I wish daycare, yes it's a needed thing, but I wish we didn't have to give an arm and a leg to go to work. Her co-payment is supposed to go up to $359 this summer just to send her son to child care. I'd rather pay myself the $359 to spend the time with my kid, but unfortunately I don't get that. Though she still has to send her kid to child care, her co-payment could go down soon. The legislature passed the Fair Start for Kids Act, making child care more affordable for families and help child care providers keep the lights on and staffed. It's now waiting for a signature from the governor. It's, it's such a relief. I mean, especially after COVID, which was a very difficult year on providers, on uh, families being able to access care. Co-payments will be capped at a certain price depending on median income, and the highest it could go would be $115 for at least the next year. Families could also get more financial aid to help pay more of their child care costs. What is he playing? So it'll help Hunger Ford rest a little easier knowing that she may pay less to send her son to childcare soon. Any little bit helps. It's, it's tough out here. It's really tough. More information should be coming out in the next few months. If you have any questions, reach out to your childcare provider or find one near you to ask some more questions. In Spokane, I'm Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.